Uh, one, one more story. I was in Colorado, in Boulder, where the hippies live on forever. <laughs> and there was this group of women who started a woman's minion. And they were having some trouble. So they asked me two questions. They said, first of all, <laughs> how does a minion work? Some read, some don't read, some read fast, some read slow, some like to sing. How does this work? And secondly, what is the point of saying words that are not even ours? Somebody else wrote them and we say them every day. So I said, uh, your first question I really don't know how to answer because I don't know how a minion works. She says, well, but you daven with a minion. <laughs> a minion means 10 guys who don't like each other get together and daven and go home. <laughs> you want to know how group dynamic works? Well, I have no idea. <laughs> a minion is not group dynamic. It's just, you got to daven with a minion, so you daven with these guys you can't stand. <laughs> if you want to know how group dynamics work, you call in an expert and they'll tell you how to, the lighting in the room and the seating arrangement. And the, the second question, I can't believe women are asking this question. They say, what does that have to do with being women? Why are we saying words that we didn't write and we keep repeating them over and over again? I said, women shouldn't be asking this question. Every wife says to her husband, how come you don't say I love you? And every husband says, you know I love you. And she says, yeah, but how come, why don't you say it? And the husband says, if you know I love you, why do I have to say it? And the wife says, I'd like to hear you say it. And the husband says, you know I love you, I've always loved you, grow up. <laughs> and the wife says, would it kill you to say I love you? So the husband says, this happens in every family. And the husband says, It'll, you, if I say I love you, will you be happy? She says, yes. He says, fine. I love you. Can we talk about something else now? <laughs> do we do the same thing with God? God says to us, how come you never say Shema Yisrael to me anymore? How come you don't say Hashem Echad? And we say, you know you're one. <laughs> You've always been one. <laughs> you're the one. You're, you're one. God says, how come you don't say it? So, well, if you know it, why do I have to say it? God says, I'd like to hear you say it. Three times a day. Every day. And we say, but if you know you're one, why do, why do you need to grow up? And God says, would it kill you to say Shema Yisrael? <laughs> so we say, all right, if I say it, you will be happy? He says, yes. So we go to shul and we say, can we go now? <laughs> That's so masculine. <laughs> Should a husband say, I love you, to his wife? To his wife? If she wants him to. <laughs> but he doesn't see a need for it. It's not his words. They don't work for him. Should he still say it? <laughs> why they're not his words because he doesn't say what his words are because <laughs> I mean he's not a monster you know? he's not going to say what he wants to say but why should he say words that are not his is that reason enough yeah how about is that the best reason? <laughs> imagine, imagine if the wife says, how come you never say I love you? I'd really like to hear you say it. He says, you know, there are words I, I would like to say. You want to hear that? She would probably say, <laughs> those words work for you. I'm talking about what works for me. So why should he say I love you? 
because those words work for her even when they're not working for him. So what is davening? Davening means these are the words. These exact words work for him. I have no idea what they mean. Does it matter? <coughs> yeah? What about saying it in English until you understand it? If those are the words in Hebrew. If you say it in English, it's the thought that counts. If you say it in Hebrew, those are the right words. So if you don't know the Hebrew, say it in English. Because the thought counts. Because the best thing is to combine the two. So, we do mitzvahs, aside from davening, which we don't feel any, doesn't do anything for me. This woman says, you know, I, I started keeping Shabbos, I don't need this. I said, so? I said, I don't need this. Yeah, so? I know you don't need this, you didn't write the Ten Commandments. You're doing it because he needs it. It's his Shabbos. He created the world in six days, not you. But he invites you to keep Shabbos with him. His Shabbos. Isn't that more important than what works for you? It is. Can we just take one last question? Yeah.